We are Well Hung Ha, a rock band currently residing in Southern California. We had the idea of creating a show where we collaborate with other artists to write, record, shoot, edit, and release a brand new song and music video within a time limit of 48 hours. They say good things come to those who wait, and although marvelous things can be created when one applies time, patience, and skill to his or her craft, this show isn't about that. Made in 48 is a collaborative experiment in instant social creativity. Because we believe great things can also happen when you trust your instincts and let spontaneity and intuition decide. This is Made in 48. So we have 48 hours to make a song and a video. To write a song, write, then record, record it properly, then come up with a video idea, then film it. I, I think it's important to make something that's actually like a, a, a good, good catchy yeah. pop song. Yes, you know. that's exactly. I do have a little keyboard riff that I've had kind of in my back pocket since last May that I want to play for you guys. It's no big deal, but it just was kind of catchy and poppy and could be like just a cool rocky electro whatever but I, I don't know I want to I think it could maybe inspire other stuff maybe it goes completely somewhere else and we don't use it it could be in a different key or a different sound I don't know I just kind of liked the sound but it could be you know it could be a lot of things right <laughs> okay We started in the in the room. Jessica played the riff, um, and then she started saying "boom" along with the riff. I, I think, I'm not sure what she was talking about. I think it was like she was playing the like she was saying that was the kick drum being "boom, boom," and then Greta picked up on that and said that sh that should be the chorus. I like what you just did there. Boom, 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 yeah, boom. I think she was also saying like it needs to go boom, like the energy of the song it needs to hit, and I'm like. That's it, you're saying it, it should just be boom. We both uh, brought very different um, kind of patterns to the way we could see the vocal line going. So it was, I thought it was interesting to swap it up like that, kind of like a rap song where you have two different rappers um, going on you know, two different kind of counter melodies. Also at one point Todd was playing, I think he was trying to get sounds out of his bass or he was kind of trying to get it in tune or something and he said, he said something like, come on baby, you know, you know you want to, to his bass guitar. And then I think Greta picked up on that and she made that a lyric in the song. So like that whole first process was, was just kind of like these chance things happening that would have just happened at that time in the room because the four of us was in the room. And, and uh, But it actually then kind of created the structure of the song, which was kind of cool. Okay, so we're coming out of the second, after the second verse, second chorus, second chorus boom, and then we're going into... So once we had the, the structure of the verse, um, we kind of felt like it needed a bridge, but it needed to be kind of more melodic. Well, Jessica came up with the chords, and then Greta kind of threw in like a 50s-y vibe. Baby, baby, baby. I like that. I just have... Maybe I like that. Black baby, black baby. What I'll does that mean? To you. Like, just put the lights out. Oh yeah, okay. I like so. it. I just thought black baby yeah, no, sounded I like cool. I think black is cool. Yeah, exactly. I like it. Cool. The lyrics are Black make it black baby Which was my way of describing like Shut off the lights And let's get together <laughs> They're not dubious, they just sounded dubious. Maybe, maybe, oh, yeah, we, don't, yeah, yeah. maybe we should say, what can, I, can we say black, make it black, baby? Yeah, black, yeah. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Okay. So black. instead of black, baby, it's, yeah. it's, it's black, make it black, baby. Yeah. Okay. When we first started the song, we didn't know whether we were gonna use loops or a drum machine or, um, and uh, I can play drums a little, Todd can play drums a little. 
um, but it's, it became pretty evident that we actually wanted all to be in the room together and record the song kind of so it had a real live feel. And so we called um, Nico, who plays drums with Well Hung Heart, and he was kind of on standby. We'd mentioned we were doing it. Um, I texted Nico, and um, he came down. He's great. He picked it right up. Then like three runs through the song, I think he had nailed the beat, uh, and then we recorded. It took like a couple of takes, but only just to get things right because we couple of us messed up but once we we had the structure down then we recorded it and that was the take for the for the song we didn't overdub nice job, everyone. Um, anything really other than there was one guitar line overdub then of course we did the vocals because we couldn't record the vocals in the room this is gonna be the one because <laughs> I'm not playing anymore after it so yeah. have to be it. four on the floor the four on the floor after the bridge yeah. I'll give you I'll give you the I moved to Minneapolis after high school and played in bands there. I had a band called The Minx, and we were pretty cool, but I needed to keep moving west. And I moved to LA, lived there for a couple years, and then um, that was kind of not agreeing with me completely. And um, I had some friends that got a house in Joshua Tree, and I went out to visit and decided something was telling me to stay there. There's some something I couldn't put my finger on, but it just felt like I was in some strange, magical, almost, almost like I was having a dream. It was a very strange thing, but I felt like maybe there's something to this. There's a sense of freedom out there. It's almost like I, I feel like I've been on vacation for 10 years, mm -hmm. even like when we were really busting her. But. The problem with us is because we kind of have have been all over the map musically, even though it still is us. Like, I'm never quite sure, like, you're never sure what people are gonna go and hear by us. And like, Perfect. if they hear what a sp specific song, they could get completely the wrong impression because we do, we have kind of mixed up, like, you know, from our acoustic, like Dirty Horse to something more like electronic and dancey yeah. off Radio Angel, our third record, where people were like, where's the sagebrush? I, we always get that in our words. I don't hear the sagebrush on this record. It's like, not everything we do, just because we live in the desert is gonna have that, the windy, yeah, it's like, yeah. we're into all kinds of music. I just got one of those annoying emails. What? One of your stalkers? Hey there, hope this finds you well. While checking out Orange's indie scene, <laughs> we discovered Well Hung Heart online. Yeah, because we're the only one. <laughs> it genuinely left a great impression on us, so we thought we'd introduce ourselves. Let's Who knows? Some... Maybe you'd be interested in what we do, or oh, even just it's always the about trial, them, yeah. which is easy and costs nothing. Oh, you, one of these again. We have the abil ability to get high quantities of actual fans of indie, actual fans of indie. indie. <laughs> so it's clearly a f email form that they just plug yeah. in. Actual fans of indie to try Well Hung Heart out, listen to the music, and tell their friends to do so uh, too. There's so much high tech stuff that people are trying to sell you to try and make you famous, which we know, and of course, you guys are good at uh, as being a band that you have to social network, but at the same time, it really comes down to being a the good content. band and playing shows. Yeah. And like having good songs and ma ma being a good live band and making an impression on people. I guess we have to write some lyrics. Yeah, so, uh, maybe this is about the first time, um, I, like when I lost my virginity. Ooh. So this is like, but it was, but it was a good losing your virginity, not yeah. like my actual losing your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> so I have like, uh, and he whispered in my ear, baby, you could boom, boom. Okay. But maybe I might use this line. You'll never know my dirty secrets, and when your demons start to creep in, just like kind of what a young girl might be yeah. thinking about a boy she likes, and maybe she's ready for it. Okay. Kind of. You. I'm just writing your lines down, so. I, yeah. So it's like kind of similar, hit. like um. Yeah. But maybe even we could even repeat, repeat something. So, yes. That's yeah. cool. And maybe one verse. I'm repeating one of yours, and you're. Yes, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay, let me go. Okay, you go, go think and I'll think and then maybe we'll have no, something. Yeah. It's kind of cool to just put uh, like an ultimate time, like you you don't have the opportunity to do multiple takes. You don't have the opportunity to 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 work through something, you know. And I, I think that that can really bring out a really interesting 
um, kind of thing about musicians and artists, and it's something that can get lost. Like if it's like if you listen to the early take of something, you go, "Oh my god, this was great early on," but because you think, "Oh well, we'll get it better, we'll get it better, get it better," and it doesn't get better, it just kind of distills and kind of that you never you lose the essence of it. So I think that's really exciting doing that and forcing everyone in the room to be that way. No one can get away with doing more than just a one or two takes. Here you go, one take. So it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's getting. One take wonder. No more time. So I, okay, so okay. I have on me. I see you desperately watching every move you want to make on me. And then it would be Greta's line. Yeah. And then I came back with rhyming with my first line, which doesn't make sense because I kind of need to rhyme with you. Or maybe, it, who knows? Or maybe, maybe, it, maybe it's cool. We rhyme like, with yeah, that. Or we rhyme with that. We rhyme with our own ones. Yes, exactly. So, so then, so I say that. Then you say something. And then I had many, many got that. I, I'm going with this wicked eye thing for some reason. So I do. <laughs> many got that wicked eye. Come too close. I'm gonna say bye bye. When I see you watching me. Jessica was one take woman. She put me to shame. <laughs> one take Jessica. No. Yeah. I sing so much better if I'm not wearing high heels and I always wear high heels. It's true. <laughs> I know. I need to just go total sporty. Sporty spice. Like Rick Jagger. <laughs> Mick Jagger wears tennis shoes. Sporty Von Rabbit is <laughs> So often you're told like you have to get the right producer and you have to get the right engineer and um, I, I'm i actually deaf in one ear and I've been deaf in one ear from being a kid and I always thought I could never mix. I could, you know, I can't do that because I can't hear stereo so it would be ridiculous for me to even consider engineering but I, I was kind of thrown into it when I was recording with previous bands and so so now I, I do all of that but the thing is is that I, I can't hear stereo so I kind of have to um, mix kind of with, with a picture of imagining the drums in the middle and then as you as people would set up on stage so I'd put the like pan a guitar to the left. Technically I don't really know what I'm doing because I can't because I'm deaf in one ear but it doesn't stop me doing it and I think that so often people use things as an excuse to kind of like be afraid to go there and do something. It is 2.15 a.m. and dead. We're wrapped Yay. on the song. Great for us. What do you think of it? I think it's cool. Not too shabby. It's about a B plus. Yeah, a B plus. Everything's a B plus. I know. <laughs> With an A plus potential when we make this badass video that we're gonna wake up tomorrow and shoot. What so do what you think, do? gang? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the theme? The song is about what, Greta? It's about booming, if you know what I mean. Is that like Licky Boom Boom Down? Yes, it is like Licky Boom Boom Down. I love that song, The Informant. Talk to me, that's all hip about a picnic yeah, basket. Yeah, we, there's gotta be a park where we can take a big picnic basket. A and picnic. Then like I think it's pull a picnic. little boom box out of it, and then do some. Everybody takes turn like With the doing slow foods. motion, like dancing while <laughs> someone's eating a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I, I think he just wrote the whole video. I think that's it. There you go. That's it. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Todd's like the silent genius, cause he just sits there and he's quiet, and then once in a while he'll just say these little things that are like little nuggets of gold. But you could pull I it out. I just mentioned to Robin, maybe we can recreate the um, picnic, do some night things no. with the picnic um, scene too, maybe even yeah. if it's in your yard with the blanket. Or maybe we should just, maybe the whole thing should Christmas be inside. Lights. Mm. We could, because we could picnic inside with like a projected park behind us. Uh, Fake parks are better than real parks. <laughs> <laughs> this weather. Yeah. Does that mean we have to get some park footage? We can, that's easy. Do 
get it off the internet or actually film the park? We could go film it. That would be an easy day thing to do instead of filming it during the day. So we could go to the thrift stores and then film the park and then you film it all, here. come back here and then film everything here. Yeah, we might be, be able to get more. More control. Yeah. Custom. I don't want to see what we're up to. So we were saying like, maybe we could go to the park and film footage of the park and then we project that footage behind us. That'll be kind of cool. And that so that way cool. we can go do that and just get all the stuff and film the park and then get ready later and do it yeah, all. Yeah, let's do that. I like that idea. Let's go to the, let's go to the 99 cent store. We'll get all that stuff. We'll Thrift go to the stores. park, thrift store. And we'll go to the park, we'll get the, the, the background stuff. And then we have time later to pick out outfits. And yeah. is the poor man's prop shop. <laughs> Even if you don't get anything at a thrift store, it's a good place to like just kind of see things that might spark your imagination. So now we're getting ready. Um, this is my makeup area. <laughs> I think the guys just figured out some lighting and Jessica's getting ready and then probably at the last second the boys will get dressed. But it takes the girls like an hour. For the first scene we're sitting the whole time. Okay. okay. The first two takes, we'll do two takes. Then we will um, switch the cameras to slow motion and then we'll do the things where we pick it out, out and we'll then dance. Okay. okay. Um, and, and that'll be it for this scene. Can you specify the dance part? Well, the dance part was the whole point is the Well, we'll do just do whatever. Just move, just like play with the props. Like we can do our like pokey thing and just kind of. Yeah. It, I mean, I don't, I don't have like, I'm not dancing, but like just movement, you know. Like. So Todd, can you give us an example? <laughs> Um, what I'm ever trying to do is uh, maybe to take turns, not all of us dancing at once, but maybe that's what we'll do now or something uh, like, you know, just one person's just totally dancing as retardedly as possible. I'm not dancing retardedly, just for yeah. the record. Me too. Kind you of can dance retardedly. Yeah, but we'll do one at a time, right? Is that what? Um, did, are we not doing yeah, one we'll do one at a time? Yeah, we'll do one at a time. Maybe we could all do one at a time. And then maybe together. Maybe we'll do a group dance too. Or and we'll see what looks like. Yeah. We'll see what we'll translates. See I don't know about this group dance idea. <laughs> Guessing I just cut it up. Um, okay. Um, so first off, we'll just do some takes of this. Should I have a guitar? Maybe you guys should just be like deadpan behind yeah. us. Looking, like looking at treasures or something. Treasures. Okay. Well, let's just do it. Yeah. We'll, we'll just sit there yeah. doing nothing. <laughs> doing Except nothing. the occasional boom. So the first scene where we had the picnic basket and the um, the background, which was projected, which was you know uh, scenes from the park, um, it was really hard to do because the projector that we had was really bad it was like 99 bucks so it had such a low output and such a low quality that we had to light the room really really uh, low light just to make the projector stand out <laughs> bunch of glow sticks and glow in the dark sticks that uh, Robin and I had previously bought for our very first like Walt Hung Heart video that we yeah. did and we didn't end up using them for that and they were still in our closet and those were from the dollar store. If I connect one more for this. You might be able to connect the knob to where it just kind of works or you could just have it like tucked in the back or you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Wait, Me and Todd started like creating bass strings and guitar strings out of these neon uh, neon light uh, things, and um, and then wrapping them around our hats. And Greta put some on a like on her neck. It actually created a really cool look. It's something I'd probably want to do again. We're always gonna kind of be in this area, and then when you go to sing, you step up right here by this team. Okay. So if you come forward, just so we get a mark, come forward to this team, and then everybody get back. Uh, this is the last shot of the night, by the way, everyone. So this is the rest. Make it count. It. So no pressure, but don't fuck it up. <laughs> what time is it? It is 9.04. 9 so 
What hour are we at now? I don't know. We have we technically have till four p.m. tomorrow, so we still have a He's good amount of time. Completely overachieved. We have. Well, <laughs> he still got to edit, and then we have to upload, and that might take like an hour. So we went up. Probably ended up going to bed like about three in the morning, I think. Um, but we at that stage we'd pretty much got the video edited, and then we just needed to kind of put the final touches to it the next day. So th this is the morning after the shoot. It's 11.30 on Sunday, so we've got about four and a half hours left. So um, now I'm just putting on uh, some overlays which Greta designed. I like the fucked up look, and I think one that, once that comes in, it's really exciting, and then earlier on it kind of... It I'll, takes too long to get to something. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'm just gonna put in the black and white thing so it goes into it and out of it. And just, just a little bit at the beginning. Just a little bit all the way through. I think they were the ones that kind of, kind of had the idea of like, we, we should name this project. And uh, at first I was like, oh, we could just call it Made of 48, blah, blah, blah. But then no, they were right. We do need a name for it because then when people hear the song, they wanna know, uh, who's singing this song? I was saying Awesome Wells. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good band name. And we were saying Nux Vomica, but that already exists by a metal band. It sounds like you're saying Nuts. Not <laughs> Nux, which means no vomiting, which I think is pretty cool. We really like that. But it's not gonna happen. My vote at this point is for the crazy exes. Everyone, okay, we can everyone who wants to vote for Awesome Wells, put their hands up. Everyone that wants to vote for yeah. Lexicon in the Gorilla Straps, put your hand up. <laughs> okay, finally, how about the crazy exes? Me and Jessica are yeah. That's yes for us. Is that a yes? Oh. <laughs> Crazy exes it is. Okay, so there it is. Uh, we managed to write, record, um, conceptualize, shoot, edit, uh, finish a music video and song um, all in 48 hours. So here it is, the Crazy Exes with the new single, Boom.
To be able to do all of this in 48 hours, no, it's like awesome. it's totally it's awesome. possible, but yeah. normally you think too much about things right. and you're you too said, yeah, you go back wrapped and up in, is this right, and am I wearing the right thing, and yeah. it's like, you know, in the end of the day, you just throw something on, as long as it's cool and everyone's in the spirit of it, you can just... No, spontaneity is great. Actually, it's very refreshing, to be honest, and uh, it's it's... It's a great release, like just in our other bands, like we're, we want everything to be perfect and we take so much time trying to, you know, get that to that perfectionist level that we we're seeing for ourselves. And this is, it's such it's a good, good too. Yeah, it's great yeah. too. And it's, 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 that's a, you want to, you know, you want things to be perfect, but this is sometimes, sometimes unperfect is like the most badass yeah. of things that you watch over time. Like just when it's just raw and like, there's not, you're just, you know. And you're still in the spirit. Yeah. Of like when you the, haven't, the you haven't got the creation the song and, yet. Cause that's yeah. always what happens. It's like you hate the song after a few months of like working and mixing like is this song even good anymore or you know this time you don't have time to like think about it it's like yeah this song fucking rocks